Hey giant farmers, this is Foxy back with a new video. This video will be talking about some of the um, most common asked questions that you guys had about cleaving. So before I go on, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and watch the full video because I, there's no point in skipping through because you're gonna miss everything. If you have a question, I'm not gonna answer it because it was probably in the video. If it wasn't, it'll be in the next one. So anyways guys, the topic here today is going to be what monsters do i need or or will what kind of runes do i need for cleaving right so i'm going to switch to my um paint i'm a visual learner so i'm going to show you with pictures and how this works and what monsters you need okay i'm going to assume at the highest level these are the monsters you have but if you don't you know it's fine because i don't expect conquer one players fighter one players to have everything right and here we go start you know the key monster here is going to be the red ball draco followed by the bestet okay so these are the key monsters you want on your team and is there a replacement here you know draco gives you immunity so you're not using something like a bernard or a cabilla what you would be using is another attack bar buffer that gives immunity by the name of bella jewel if you don't know which one is better i made a video about it so go watch it and don't ask me it because it's not the video here you know this is like special rta mode right this, right here boom megan special RTA, rta mode megan but honestly there's nothing that can replace bestet because of how good her kit is defense break attack down skill one a shield buff and a three turn attack buff on skill three way way better than megan unless unless Megan gets a 2A, and that increases her speed a lot higher than Bastet, and that's a conversation that we can have another day. So these are the core attack bar booster teams that you have right here, right? The ATB boosters, right? Right here. So this is your core. And before I move on, you're gonna ask me, do I put my faster set on my Draco or the fastest set on my Bastet? The answer is gonna be, I would sp split them evenly between both. That way there's not a giant gap. So your Draco's not 300 speed and your Bastet's 280 speed, for example, right? Because what happens when they ban your, your Draco? You're no longer confident in your Bastet to go first to beat that Okeanos because that Oki is probably on their best swift set and you have to separate it on into two because that's how your team operates, right? So keep that in mind when you go cleave, you do need good swift runes and I would split them up. And then moving on, we're gonna pick the speed lead portion here because this unit is, I would say, is drafted probably like 95% of the time right here, the Garo. The reason why the Garo is good is because it gives a speed lead. So you always have a speed lead with your Draco, no matter what else you draft, because this is gonna be a key unit. Your Vampire, so you heal up and the passive works. You got solo potential, you come back alive quicker, get more turns, right? So that was the, this is the key unit that you want. And then the damage dealers of this team is going to be the Julie. And obviously the favorite unit right here. Oops, wrong side. Lucian. So these, this is the court team right here, right? The, the, this is the most basic level here. And we'll talk about drafting in another video because that 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 is like a lot of things and that comes with practice right but to finish off we the speed lead portions if you want the like the highest like the best result these are the speed monsters that you need you need vanessa because what if they take your garo right then you need a speed lead and vanessa works really well because of how her kit operates defense break and revive with attack buff then obviously some moth because they're both in the 33 speed lead family and then my i like this unit a little bit unrated but it's only a 24 lead right it's gonna be a shimite it's a 24 lead so there you have it i don't use tyrone okay tyrone like 90 percent lead it's, it's it's not it's not doing nothing okay and then alternatively if you don't have any of the 33 um, lead you have susano free to play fusible unit those are the speed leads that you need when they contest you with speed. So this could be something along the lines of um, Vanessa Samoth and they pick Oki and a Thor, right? They're gonna get first turn if you don't pick two speed leads, right? Or you play around that. So moving on, this is um, right here, your speed lead portion, speed lead, um, or 95% pick here. I'm like, this number is out of my, out of, you know, but like, it's, it's a good rounded number here. And this is the speed lead portion when you fight speed teams. And this is your core damage, de damage dealers, right? So this is how the team operates. 
and skill goes one two three and then people they have different opinions i've seen both um it's really a preference thing both can go four or five okay for myself i prefer to go lucian four because it amps down enough for julie to trigger passives but also because um for myself, Lucian won't kill a Perno with Amputation Magic, right? But the Julie will use the third shot, I believe 1,000 shots, and kill off the Perno while triggering their tree on a passive, right? So this is the core damage dealers, you know. Basically, it's a very free-to-play friendly team because you got not fours, but really the Swift Runes and Depth is not free-to-play friendly because um, you're not you're not relying on any vine procs to win the game, right? You need as much damage. You need first turn. So basically, this play style is win in 30 seconds or lose in 30 seconds, right? Um, so I enjoy playing like that because I don't want to sit through a 20 minute Genghis Thor match only to get destroyed by one vine proc. It feel, that's probably the worst feeling, and I don't want I don't beg to anybody to go through that. So here are some um, niche units that you can build as well to complement your team you will see a lot of uh, revive teams right so obviously the anti-revive is going to be really clutch here the anti-revive duo right here right the anti-revive team uh, I, I don't include wind demon because i don't own one but i'm sure um you can work that into your team but personally i haven't right i don't even know his name so i can't even search on this website for this picture so i'm gonna move on so here are some other units that you can also build and if you don't have like a julie for example right maybe you want to build a beth beth is a good alternative to other water damage and then you know i don't like this one as much but i've seen it being used here and there and it's going to be alicia it doesn't work well because Vanessa Triana is a very, very, very common thing for um, anti cleave, right? And Alicia's third skill doesn't work into anti cleave because of how Triana steals your turn and then you're absolutely, you know, your second skill doesn't operate with a second um, speed scaling, right? So that's huge. And also, I don't own an Odin, but I'm sure you can incorporate Odin into your team. This is gonna be the category of, um, you know, one shot units, right? This is when you want to just take one unit off the bat and things that are weak um, because they build defense like Artemil and um, like Winda, right? And here is one of my less personal favorites just because of how he works his third skill is like rolling a dice and sometimes you want to win and sometimes it just wants you to lose so the last one i'm trying to incorporate it into my team but i haven't been having too much success it's the covenant right i haven't had too much success here um so but you can definitely use it my personal favorite in this pile is going to be Kali and Daphnis just because I don't have an Odin. I'm not sure how it works. And if you have an Oberon, I'm not going to include it because that's super pay to win. And there you have it. This is the team, the most common units you want to build. You know, if you don't have the anti revive units, if you don't have the other water units, if you don't have the one shot units, you don't have the speed leads, at least build yourself the Garo, Draco, Bastet, Slash, Megan, Lucian, Julie, right? That's gonna be the core. I don't expect people to steal all that unit in C in the C1 Fighter 1, right? And then our last question is gonna be obviously Will Runes. Do I use Will Runes? I don't use Will Runes, but the answer for you is gonna be if you put will runes on your bestead to counter you know the most common things like leo right it's gonna it's gonna counter a lot of things but at the same time you'll be countered by gianna Runsa, right if you run a full no if you run a team with will runes on your bestead i would run full will runes on your lucian and your julie that way you protect yourself from the cathor and Oki, you know, better for the people that are a little bit slower because will runes will save you. And if you're a little bit faster, you have better rune quality, and you don't have the best will runes, but you want to do more damage. And that, like, maybe you think damage is what you're missing, not the speed, right? So drop the will set, go for a blade set, and you can put it your Draco on full broken swift, broken swift for Bastet, and get them both to a higher range because I know will runes are a lot harder.
Anyways, and if you run a full no will set, you know, you easily counter Wunsa's, you easily counter Gianna, these super pay to win people. But when you think about it, who's, who's more, who's more, what's more common? These pay to win people or people who run a Thor, Oki, Ganymede. So Swift Runes is probably the be better bet for yourself. You know, I'm going to play around with um, putting Swift Runes and Will Runes onto my Lucian Julie just because I've been encountering a lot of Swift Ganymedes and it's really, really, really cheesy. Maybe I'll consider it. So that's the answer to, am I using Will Runes? And for the anti-revive teams, I would definitely put them on Will Runes. And your one-shot units, you know, I think you should put them on Will Runes just because um, some things may cut in and you don't have the one-shot off, right? But if you don't have it, it's fine, but make sure you're tuned to one attack bar booster, okay? Speed tuned to one attack bar booster. Speed tuned to one ATB. So that's what I want you to do just because if you have, if you rely on two attack bar boosters and they ban one, you'll get cut. Um, if you have will runes, you won't suffer as much, but you still will, right? And the best way to counter that is being speed tuned to one attack bar booster. Okay, so I hope that guys helps, helps you this little mini infographic here. I probably missed a few things, I'm not, I'm not scripting this, but if you guys enjoyed this session and you want like a second video, Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. You know, based on your feedback, I will consider, um, you know, the second episode where maybe I have like the two draft things right here. And depending on if your first or second pick, you want to see how you draft, right? That's what I kind of think we can do next. Thanks, guys, for the support. And Foxy out.